Now the uh, quantum computer is getting better and better. The number of qubits is increasing, and fidelity is also getting better and better. So maybe in the near future, or in two or three years, uh, we may come up with a good application in the area of the material, the material science or drug discovery or financial area. My name is Shintao Sato. I'm a fellow and the head of quantum laboratory at Fujitsu. Actually, Fujitsu has been uh, working on the uh, computing technology for years, since the era of the mainframe, um, like uh, 50 or 60 years ago. The uh, performance of computing is uh, getting better and better. But actually, the improvement these days is actually slowing down. This is because uh, the, uh, what is called the end of Moore's law is approaching. So because of that, now many people work on the uh, new architecture, specialized for the, uh, some application. So the uh, AI chip is the one of the examples. In the same context, uh, actually we uh, actually developed the, what is called digital anneater, which is an uh, architecture specialized for the combinatorial optimization problem. By doing this, we can speed up the uh, computer chip. The area in which the quantum computing will become important is an um, area where the, we need a lot of calculations. One of the examples is the uh, material science or the drug discovery. To uh, predict the property or energy state of the material, we really have to do a simulation using a quantum mechanics. But such calculation needs a lot of calculation and memories, and it is very difficult to uh, precise calculation using a current computer or classical computer. The computer is expected to solve such problem. Another area is quantum machine learning. Now the AI is everywhere, uh, getting more and more popular. Uh, but you know, uh, we really have to do a lot of calculation. We really need a lot of electrical power to do such calculation. So actually, uh, once quantum computer is realized, it is expected that such calculation can be done very efficiently and using less energy. Companies will use quantum computer commercially probably in five to ten years or even longer. To use a quantum computer for the practical application, we have to develop the uh, what is called error correction technology. Without that, it's very difficult to do a practical computation using a quantum computer. Now, the uh, quantum computer is getting better and better. The number of qubits is increasing, and fidelity is also getting better and better. So maybe in the near future, or in two or three years, uh, we may come up with a good application in the area of the material science or drug discovery or financial area. Advice for the people who are interested in the quantum computing will be uh, just try the quantum computing and get a feeling how it works. We have just developed the uh, 64 qubit quantum computer and the other quantum computer also available on the cloud. Of course, we also have the quantum computer simulators, and actually we had a, what's called quantum simulator challenges. In that challenge, we let the uh, research institution all over the world use the, our quantum simulator for free to develop application. By, by doing such things, you can understand what quantum computer can do. You know? So even, even though the quantum computer are not mature yet, at least you can get a feel, and in the future, you can really think about what you can do in your field. So please try it.